Hey, it's ReefGuy92, back to you guys with my 175 gallon. Uh, <clears throat> gonna give you guys a little review on my Ecotech lighting and the G2 Radions I've been running on my tank. Uh, hope you guys enjoy, and if you do, click subscribe. I need those subscribers, we're gonna get those going. Um, like, share, comments on the videos are always great. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna give you a little run about what I do for my lighting schedule so you guys can have results like I do. So these are the Gen 2 Ecotech Radeon XRW30 wide. Um, these are a wireless with an RF transmitter in them to com that allows them to communicate with each other um, via RF. Uh, so you're not only having to plug in both of them or touch one or the other, they will control both at the same time or more and up to multiples, um, which is really sweet and a function that is really nice to have. Uh, these I have suspended above my tank. I've got them hooked into the ceiling with the provided um, ceiling mounts and those are wires those are fully adjustable height and then you can also rotate them or tilt them back and forth if you wish um, I've got these on an aluminum bar that I put on I have drilled holes there's one there it's from a previous installation on a different tank and I've got the threaded caps on there going through the hole into that aluminum channel and then that allows me to connect them together with one ceiling kit there we go and that way you're not having to hang them both separately they're on one piece um, now I made this longer it probably looks a little silly but that is in the um, hopes of getting a third um, you're gonna have one usually typically my guess is to do one in each section of the tank so I'll have one two and then three um, that is the plan to get another one in here um, but for now two is what I've got and two is what I'm gonna work with um, these are great lights they give off a ton of light and I've had excellent success with all my SPS corals and it's what I mainly have in my tank. Um, SPS are the main dominance in my tank and I have had great success with these lights. Even being the Gen 2, I know the Gen 3s and Gen 4s have already been out and those lights have actually even yellow channels in them now. But these are a full spectrum light and fully controllable. So we'll go into the internet and I'll show you guys the EcoSmart Live app um, that we can use to actually control these lights. So here we are, let's go on uh, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, of course. You're going to go into your tabs, you're going to click on EcoSmart Live. This gives you your login information, something I've logged into before. So it saves my information. Now, the great thing about Ecotech is that you can actually connect multiple items. So you can do your Ecotech Radeon, so you can do a Vectra Pump. Um, you can do a Vortec pump, which is also for the sides and the wave makers. Um, and that gives you the option to be able to control all of those from your computer, from your phone, live, anytime, anytime, anywhere. Um, which is a fantastic point um, to have these lights. So you get what you pay for and you get this amazing program. Um, right now, this is my current schedule. I have done a um, AB plus schedule. And then I've actually added these two points here. So here, at around 12 o'clock a.m., uh, the intensity bumps up a little bit, and we're looking at about 10% um, from a 57 to a 64. Not quite 10%, um, and that also is giving me, in that time of day, we'll click on this here. So I clicked on that point, and that's giving me what I have for my LED lights and actually how high of an intensity those are. Um, I've also increased this number here, my overall intensity, from an 80%, I've bumped it up to 100%. Because I'm only running two lights, <clears throat> I wanted to have a little more um, light going through. So I bumped these. These are 100%. These were 24, 24, and 24 on the AB plus schedule. I have taken the whites and I've thrown them up another 10%, giving them 35. Now that 10% is only on from basically 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock, so four hours, giving me a, an extended period of time where those four hours are optimum growing time. I know that white light does grow corals really well um, from what I've read and what I've heard. And of course it does algae, but that's why I've only done it for about four hours. And it ramps down again. And we'll go in here and back to where it's 24, 24, 24. And then back down to about 95%. So I'm actually increasing this another 5% overall intensity for four hours. Um, and in doing so, I have actually changed my schedule a bit. 
I used to have it come on around 7, 7 o'clock so that when I get to work I can still see it before I go um, and stay on a little bit later and some people like that too I love having my lights on later but um, from reading a little bit on the internet and watching a few videos online um, there's been a lot of people who have actually said that there are good rates into things that having a shorter span of light um, over the all day but having a higher intensity um, can actually grow corals more efficiently and more in like the natural environment so I'm gonna give that a try right now another cool thing about these radions we'll click on the radion here <clears throat> is they have an acclimation timer so this acclimation timer I put it on for one week that purple line is where I'm at right now currently from my 80% starting intensity to up to the 100% starting intensity and I've done it for a week it's on I think day three at this point and that is now in a couple more days going to finally hit that threshold and be at where I want it to be but that gives my corals a a good chance to finally develop a sense of um, not to shock them and so that they can actually be a little more used to the light without having to be just like okay we're on and we're up in a bunch more intensity so that's a really nice feature with these radions that you get and you don't have to have them going on immediately right then and there and hope that corals don't burn off um, this way this can give me a little bit of a slower gradual increase in light and then also give those corals a chance to acclimate so we're back to the radions um, the radion lights I think I showed you this last time do have a little USB plug so that if you don't have um, what they have is a reef link um, which is the ability to have Wi-Fi and sending a right RF signal to these lights and to your pumps um, if you don't have that reef link then you can still plug these in you still can control them you can still do exactly what anyone else would be able to do um, you just can't do it from your phone you can't do it basically wirelessly um, you'll have to plug your computers in and you'll have to plug them into the lights directly and then do it from there still usable still customizable no matter what they are right out of the box that way um, but it gives you that ability to use that function without having that reef link so I'm going to keep it short today guys um, that's all for now if there's any more questions on those radions you feel free to shoot me some messages don't forget to click subscribe and uh, happy to have more people and have more questions and comments on the videos. I really appreciate you guys checking in and all of you new subscribers. Thank you so much uh, for taking along. Um, if there's anything you guys want to see on my tank, feel free to shoot me a message. I'd love to make a video on it. It gives me some options and some things to look at. And uh, as well for you guys to make some learning tips and tricks. Uh, whatever you want, I'll make you a video. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and thanks again.